So in injecting, they immediately get hot or get, how to say, get gel. Uh, they don't go forward. They, they say, how to say, they don't go forward. And uh, normally you control the pressure and also the volume. And if you do, if you control volume and pressure, normally drug doesn't go forward. And also we uh, provide a spring plate so that drug won't go forward. And this is all happening at the tail end of the shield. Yes. Behind the tail. Yes. And another thing is uh, our philosophy is to have a front sheet and middle sheet. For example, if we have front, middle, and rear sheet, our philosophy is to have a front, middle, tail uh, sheet at, with the same diameter. We don't, uh, we did not make a machine conically. Uh, in case of a uh, hard double uh, sheet TDM or uh, hard rock TDM, we make a uh, sheet body conically, but the first round machine is not necessary to make a uh, Sheet body uh, conically. So that prevent uh, that also minimizes growth when going forward. Yeah, minimizes the amount of overcast yes, yes. possibility of growth going forward. At what pressure is the grout injected? Uh, depend, depends on the uh, water pressure, of, of course. If, if you inject more than uh, what you have outside, <laughs> you cannot inject. So it, it's a matter of pressure what you have outside. And this, this again goes uh, to, the, to the point that we were making of uh, controlling the settlement of the... Yes. yes. So the blood pressure has to be pretty much the same as what ground requires to maintain the surface. Is there a significant cost difference between one and two liquid type grout? Uh, this this is always an argument that uh, uh, depends on where where. For example, if if in US maybe maybe quite similar, but uh, if you if you say in if you discuss in Japan, um, they said to come. Two components is cheaper, and if you discuss that kind of things in Singapore, they say they also say it, it's quite similar. Depends on where, what what is available, and how how much that will cost. What drives the strength requirement for two-part component grout mix? Uh, strength requirement is uh, uh, some some people said they want to have a very high, how to say grout with a high strength, but uh, even if you have a high strength uh, more than what more than the ground, it's it's useless. Uh, that means uh, uh, grout should be uh, for example the same. Should have the same uh, strength as the surrounding ground. So, it's any additional strength will be basically waste of waste, waste, waste of money. Yes, waste of money. What is the minimum radius curve a four meter TBM with active articulation could negotiate? Mm, it's difficult question. So, for example, uh, theoretically, maybe they can go up to 30 or 20, but uh, uh, machine only by machine you cannot negotiate 20 or 30 meters like carb radius. You have to have a, a special segment. Uh, you can you can uh, which segment can stay in, in position even if you have a very huge overcut. And uh, ground has to be, how to say, consolidated. So even if you have a huge overcut, uh, you, you, you will not have a ground movement. So not only machine, you have to have a support from civil side.
Mm-hmm. That segment design comes into action to uh, come to yes. equations. How would you clear the exterior articulation joint of any signs that would pack the joint when it is opened in curves? Um, no, normally we do not have such a kind of issue, but uh, uh, if something uh, came, came inside between the uh, articulation seals, uh, there's a uh, how to say, uh, piping, and you can inject some high pressure water or uh, breeze to purge, purge out the soil. Okay. What are the typical costs for slurry plants? compared to EPB shield operation? It depends on the size of the slurry plants, of course. But it uh, could be in millions of dollars. Right, Thompson? Yes. Normally, we roughly, very roughly, same as machine. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yeah. The slurry plant costs almost as much as the machine. As an owner writing a specification for EPBs, is it better to specify EPBs or EPB capable? I have difficulty understanding that question. Well, of course, it's better to to be very specific if they know if they know what uh, what they want. Of course, it's better to specify EPBs, but uh, I don't know what they mean by EPB specific. Maybe if the person who asked this question can clarify the question, and we can answer it uh, by email. Okay, uh, try this one. How old is EPB technology? Mm, it's getting very old. It, it, it was introduced late 70s, I believe. So that means 50 years? 40 years. For almost 40 years. Yeah, it, it gained uh, a widespread recognition uh, in the mid 80s. Uh, it was introduced in the 70s, but yes. you know, the recognition of the industry was in the 80s. Yes. And one, one other thing about this question is that uh, uh, I was in a conference uh, earlier in the year, and uh, it was stated that uh, up to about 85% of uh, soft rock tunneling projects uh, in the world are uh, are being done by EPBs. So it has it has uh, widespread acceptance and use in uh, all tunneling projects. What is the difference between open and closed mode? Uh, if, if you say open mode, closed mode in case of ETB, ETB machine, uh, closed mode means uh, uh, excavate the ground and the fill mixing chamber with an excavated bath and pressurize the mixing chamber. This is closed mode. And in case of open mode, you excavate the ground, but the uh, mixing chamber is not full of bark. Uh, maybe one third is bark and a uh, few third is ju- just uh, uh, air. And they call this, this as an open mode, non pressurized. What soil parameters are used by TBM manufacturers to decide how much hard facing 
and where resistant armor is needed. Um, there is uh, several parameters, but uh, I think that uh, if we talk with uh, European customers, for example, uh, they mention that, how to say, sale share value. Uh, we evaluate the uh, necessity of uh, our, uh, how to say, protection based on sale share value, for example. And of course, uh, if, we know, if we knew the type of work, we knew, we knew how, how upgraded that, that work is, and uh, we uh, design based on that information. How would you do backfilling in cases where the ground has a tendency to overbreak? Um, for the pressure, it's very difficult because normally, if ground tends, tends has a tendency to overbreak, that means that you have to uh, you have to prevent overbreak over excavation while you are excavating. And uh, you, can, uh, you can do nothing uh, from grouting. You just need to grout what you have. You, you, you just need to grout you have what you need. Wait, what you, how, how much dirt you, you have need. What, what's important is you, to minimize the void while you are excavating. I think it's not a matter of grouting. It's a matter of pre-consolidation of the grounds to uh, minimize the overbreak. Yes. Can EPBs be used in soft rock? And can they be used in mixed soil and rock? Or enhanced weathered zones? Yes, yes. The, the important thing to uh, to have in mind is the strength of the rock. If it's uh, if the rock strength is higher than 20 MPa, then there's a requirement for installation of disc cutters on the on the head of it. Uh, for less than 20 MPa um, rock, you don't uh, normally put disc cutters on the head of it unless there is a possibility of existence of boulders. I think this will be the last question. Um, what rock properties are needed to be able to form a plug in a screw conveyor when tunneling in soft rock? How many do you see? Rock property to be able to form the pressure plug. Um, no, normally, if the ground is rock, without uh, injecting or adding some kind of additive, it's almost impossible to make a plug. And uh, uh, normally we consider rock as a non fine particle, and uh, we calculate the required uh, amount and type of additive to uh, reach a uh, Required amount of pines so that you can uh, make a plug. So that means uh, that means uh, uh, we, we just we just uh, think work as a long pine particle, and uh, so so work. Look, has nothing to do with uh, that. It's just a percentage of fines in the in the mud that determines the uh, plug forming capacity of the rock. And if uh, there is not enough fines in the mixture, then we have to introduce those fines uh, from outside. I think the level is what thirty percent. Uh, 